I'm Pete Zielinski with Additive Manufacturing Magazine. I'm here with Frank Medina, Senior Specialist in Material Development with RCAM. So Frank, uh, kind of a basic question first, not all powder bed systems are the same. So what is electron beam manufacturing? What does it do that other powder bed systems can't? Okay, there are several differences between powder and the powder bed systems. Like you said, electron beam melting, instead of using a laser beam, it uses an electron gun. So we use a 3,000 watt uh, electron gun to shoot electrons, really fast accelerated electrons to the powder bed. And by using friction, we start, that's how we actually build the parts. So what are some process advantages to an EBM machine? So some of the advantages of the EBM system is, uh, there are several. Uh, one of the most noticeable one is that we actually build uh, in a heated bed. Okay. So we use the electron beam to actually preheat or heat up the bed. So for some materials like titanium, uh, we heat up all the way up to 700 degrees Celsius. For Thai alumina, we go up to 1100 degrees Celsius. So by having these high temperatures in the powder bed, we actually produce really nice parts that are stress relieved. Uh, you know, we don't have any internal stresses. And also, uh, another big advantage is that we actually built under vacuum. Okay. So negative uh, four millibars in the vacuum chamber. And by doing this also, we, we don't have any, um, any contamination. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a very pure, pure material that comes out. The 3D printing style processes are moving, have moved, out of prototyping into production. Why has that happened? What are the enablers that have allowed powder bed building of parts to become a production process? Okay, yeah, that's a good question. So uh, with our technology, we've been in production since 2007. Okay. Uh, we've been producing a lot of medical devices. We have implanted over uh, 50,000 uh, acetabular cups mm -hmm. since 2007. You know, some companies have 12, 13 machines running 24-7 uh, uh, just producing acetabular cups. And that's, so the medical industry is there, you know, it's been there for a while, especially in Europe, and then the FDA approvals and everything I've already done. So for the past t three years, we've been producing a lot of the implants in the U.S. And then also now what's going on with the aerospace industry, now they're starting to see this big benefit, you know, and some of the, the, the advantages are that this is happening is the materials are becoming a lot more uh, robust, mm -hmm. you know, more accurate, mm -hmm. uh, a lot faster, you know, so that's why powder bed and additive is going into mainstream production, especially in aviation now. Yeah. So what do you think is coming? How will powder bed machines improve? So with our technology, with electron beam melting, you know, we just released our, our newer systems with the, the Q-series. And what we did to improve that is we're adding more, more e it's easy to use. We designed a new gun, electron beam gun, that has a smaller beam diameter. So now we do 100 microns. So we're getting a lot better surface finish. Okay. And then also what we're doing with the, the new technology is also we're implementing uh, imaging systems for quality control. So that's also going to be something big that we're releasing and you can get with the Q systems now. So we take pictures at, at every layer. So we use those pictures for quality control. At the end of the build, we can analyze, stack them, analyze it and see if there's any porosity or any internal defects. So material improvements machine improvements in terms of the beam and then quality control also Correct. through imaging. Through imaging inside the machines. Thank you, Frank. All right, no problem.